Hey guys, it's a uh, despised masses here. Okay, yeah, we're definitely walking. All right, so firstly, I wanted to start off by asking you if you're currently working on anything and what you can tell us about it. Well, currently I am working on an EP which has X, D, T, D, X, and Ban Banshee the Kid in it. That'll be dropping around. I would say same with the rest of Despised Redux. And then on November 4th, Death Wish Freestyle is premiering pretty sick. And then every week after that, I'm going to be dropping songs from Familiar Faces, which is a collab EP with a, a lot of really nice artists. I got like maybe three solo tracks in there. People like Sadzilla, Little God, Dark Side, nice. uh, my buddy Matt Zephyr, Babel, and a few other surprises. And then in the new year, I'm looking to release a new uh, track metal EP that's going to be in the vein of Acacia Strain and Black Tongue. That sounds very and interesting. And then I just have another two other EPs. I'm still working out the concepts for. I have the instrumentals and everything ready. I just got to finish the writing for it and the theme and all that shit. So that's what I got going on right now. Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. And, you know, kind of going into that, who were some of your biggest influences that really made you like the whole trap metal kind of genre? In the beginning, I would say, like, fucking, I wasn't into rap for a while, and then my one friend showed me Death Grips, and that got me back into it, and then I found, like, fucking Sinister and Gizmo, and then, oddly enough, Ghostmane, I found, like, a year later, maybe. And then, I don't know, like, fucking, Scarlord is amazing, fucking projects except i don't know i didn't really enjoy his not fest performance that well <laughs> but that's besides the point he's still a good artist and just like a lot of those guys and then even like the new guys coming out like just finding out about fucking shush like four months ago like changed my look on trap metal a little bit so what was it about trap metal that really caught your attention? It's because I've always listened to music that was like a little bit different, like fucking like Grendel, Cyclone 9, Horse the Band, like shit that would mix like screaming with like the electronics and stuff. And I always thought like, why don't they have this for like rap music? And then someone fucking put me onto it and I was like, holy shit, this is actually a thing. <laughs> and uh, oh, it's just fucking a different vibe, but it fucks with metal so well. And like, I do metal shit as well, so it meshes really good for crowds and stuff, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, you're pretty deeply involved with Thoughtbreaker. Uh, how did that come about? Honestly, I just remember, like, fucking, what was it, three or four years ago, I saw one of their shirts. No, it was, no, that's not Lou. I saw his merch, and I was like, yo, that's fucking sick. And then I peeped his music, and I was like, okay, this is pretty dope. And then I checked out, like, all their other artists. And they had a, a good catalog of people, and they had, like, Shadow Puppet there, too, and, like, Sick Fuck had stuff on there. Fucking Death Conestoza's uh, art he did. I have that shirt. It's one of my favorites they've done. And just, like, Lou is such a nice fucking dude, and been close with him ever since really and we still talk a lot got some stuff in the works with him as well oh uh, dude yeah uh, when me and him did that Thoughtbreaker dejected uh, collab shirt that, that shit was <laughs> that was fun uh -huh. and he's all around like a fucking really nice and personable guy and like you can tell he actually gives a shit about what he's doing kind of thing yeah, so, also, 
What are you looking to accomplish over the next five years? Well, for music, I'm looking to release, obviously, some more music and dive a little bit more into what I can, how so I can mix metal into the trap music and then see what else I can do with, like, the metal and the punk stuff and all that kind of stuff I have someone that wants to do some like drums for me and then i think i have a bassist as well so i could slowly incorporate a full band aspect into it too i'm slowly in talks to do a cross canada tour with the states and shit for it it's just the fucking covid shit is so annoying yeah speaking of that have you been able to perform at all since covid or do you have plans Oh, I think I did two shows near the beginning of COVID, and then everything shut down. And then since I've done like three live stream concerts, maybe four in August in London, and I'm talking to some venues around here to get some more shows started up again. But the the rap scene here doesn't mesh with my music too well, so I know some meeting some punk metal bands and stuff and I'm in the works uh, for a collab with one of the metal bands Entropy 519 they're pretty dope check them out on Spotify Uh, I wanted to ask also who are some people that you can always rely on for a really fucking good trap metal like verse or beat I would say fucking this new person I found Senpai I keep going back to him just because, I don't know, he seems to find the right vibe that I'm looking for, and then, I don't know who else was there, Uh, Grim Goblin was really good, he's coming back now, which I'm pretty good, because I went for that year, I ate that he had, and and who was that person that we got from the other then I, I honestly, I feel so bad that I can't remember the producer's name right now for the EP for Palace, but we scooped off him or fucking ridiculous. Like, the one track that I have for my solo track on it is probably, like, one of the heaviest, like, trap metal songs that I've ever fucking made. Like, the intro alone just gets you so fucking hyped. Oh, hell yeah, I'd love to hear that shit. Well, honestly, I'll send you a Google link after if you want to hear it. Dude, fuck yeah, I want to hear it. <laughs> so, All right. did you start off by making trap metal and heavy shit, or did that kind of come later? Well, I've been doing music for, like, a couple years. I just started out doing, like, fucking grunge music with some buddies, and then I did, like, a little bit of metal music with a school band and then fucking I was in like a folk band for like a year or two and then I did like metal by myself for a year and like I don't know I just fucking I'll admit it I could not figure out how to mix fucking guitars properly and it would just like drive me up the fucking wall it's hard but like over the years now I've slowly figured it out but like that was like maybe six years ago I would say and I was a little bit stupider back then a little bit more (laughs) stone drunk so it made sense but then after discovering like fucking sinister and shit i was like yo i could do this kind of shit too and then my first (laughs) excuse me album that i did was all self-produced and i kind of regret that i didn't work on it a little bit more and then i lost all those fucking files because if i could polish it now it would be like a fucking masterpiece or what it sounds like, it's like how they used to fucking mix black metal in the 90s, so. Oh, man. Fuck. <laughs> and you were kind of talking about this a minute ago, but uh, would you ever have any interest in playing in a band? If you did create or join a band, what do you think the sound would be like? Just because people seem so, like... Even, like, around here, I can only find, like, really people looking for, like, thrash metal bands and stuff like that. I'm not really into, like, thrashy stuff. I want it to be, like, beat down gent, but, like, kind of experimental. 
that's the kind of thing that I would be looking for. And I Jen getting a lot of shit, but like, I love it to the fuck of the beer. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. So, or even like fucking a tech death band would be nice, but that's like fucking. Yeah, that's hard to come across. Although I don't know my music scene huge well just yet, but from the feels of it, it's a like hardcore and like punk and like uh, deathcore kind of stuff, which I'm all down for. I fucking love it, but. If it was a choice over doing despise masses and doing that, I'd rather do despise masses all day, every day. Hell yeah, man. I respect that. And uh, last question here. When somebody hears your music who isn't familiar with the genre, what is usually their reaction? On the person, if they are familiar with that or not, because it's it seems like it's a... 75 25 like 25 percent of people like oh i i kind of know what that is i like i have like a decent spanning discography of like what how you can mix metal with trap music so it's so i remember i did a metal show like maybe two years ago with uh held in secret suicide for a king and red war and I like they just found me when they're coming down from Montreal out of the blue and Hamilton asked me to open. I thought that was fucking sick. And then like I was just really surprised how much they actually enjoyed the music and that there was actually like a good fucking pick going and people are fucking bouncing off the walls and throwing shit. It was great. So you would say mostly it's a positive experience when people hear your music. I'll say so. From at least like being really because most of the people I know are kind of alternative I don't really know any uh, like kind of, like uh, like mainstream kind of people because music is a very big part of my life and I just cannot listen to that music because it physically hurts me yeah I don't know why so it, it I guess that generally how the, the crowd that I surround myself with but I do branch out to other people and it's usually a positive response and like even some people are just like surprised that I even make music and they think it's cool that I make music even if they're not like a fan of it. Yeah. And like I'm all for getting like negative criticism or whatever like I, if you have something bad to say just like say it like I don't care like say that I have like a the song could have been mixed better or like my vocals could be better and like I'll take that and I'll consider it and like I'll put that to work and incorporate it into the next song kind of thing you know 